I'm calling this video Doing It Right. This is a two-part video. In part one, I'll show and explain how bubble foil products are made. And once you understand this, you'll see why they are destined to eventually fail. Basically, they are junk. In part two, I'll explain how Bluetex insulation products are made and why they are far superior and won't fail like bubble foil products. First, here's a question. Why are bubble foil products a popular method to make a vapor barrier inside of metal buildings? The main reason is they are cheap. Basically, it's 99.99% plastic and air. That's it. And since it's really cheap to make and sell, I call this what's called a just good enough product. What does that mean? It means it's just good enough to last a few years to get past the warranty period before it fails. I've spoken to a lot of metal building people and when it comes to bubble foil products, they generally fall into one of two groups. Group one says, I refuse to sell this stuff. It's junk and I build a quality building, I charge fair pricing, I've been in business for a long time, and I don't want the customer calling me in a few years when it starts to fall apart. Group two says, we advertise and win business by having low pricing. The bubble foil helps keep our cost low, and it's a great add-on, and it's actually the most profitable part of the job. So here's the deal. Bluetex insulation products are not for group two. It will never be as cheap as bubble foil because it's a completely different product. It's for builders and customers who want a top quality product that will last. They understand the difference between the price today and the cost down the road. This group wants to do it right the first time and are willing to spend a little more on a top quality building. Let's get into the actual process of how bubble foil is made to fully understand why it's destined to fail. Most bubble foil products are made using a product called metallized film or MPET. One of the brand names for this product is Mylar. And you see it everywhere because it's a commodity product and it's cheap to make. Many packaging products use metallized film. What is it? Basically it's a potato chip bag or those shiny metal looking balloons. It's a piece of clear polyester film with a layer of vapor applied aluminum on one side. This is done in a giant vacuum chamber and the aluminum is vaporized and a super thin layer sticks to the clear film. If you could spray paint aluminum onto a clear film, you would get metallized film. Then the film is put on a vacuum roller with little pockets to create the bubbles and sealed with a white layer of plastic film. There you have it. When it's done, it's 99.99% plastic and air. Don't get me wrong, metalized film works great for short-term uses like potato chip bags, balloons, and bubble mailers. But think about this, if you leave a potato chip bag out in the sun for a few months, what happens? It becomes brittle and breaks apart. This is the exact same thing that will happen in your metal building. This typically happens in 5 to 15 years depending on your climate area and the use of the building. Finally, let's talk about durability. Most bubble foil products can easily be torn or punctured since they have no reinforcing materials. And the bubble foil products typically offer no UV or ultraviolet light protection. Adding UV protection drives up the cost. Over time, even the UV light given off by interior lights will cause the bubble foil to degrade and fall apart. In the next video, I'll show you how Bluetex insulation products are made and why they are a far better choice when you need a vapor barrier or radiant barrier in your metal building compared to bubble foil products, especially if you are doing it right and want to build a top quality building. Be sure to order your free sample kit. For more information, visit bluetexinsulation.com.